it was slightly more quiet inside where I caught up with the publican Helen Hall. She's navigated some pretty tough times over the last couple of years and she wants everyone to know that Dargo is open for business. Helen, Dargo Hotel, one of my favourite little water and holes. How's it been going? Yeah, it's been good. It has. We've had, had some good support for, since um, late last year. Yeah, it's been okay. And what's been happening in town? Oh, today, plenty. Yeah? Yeah, a bit of live entertainment out the front. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a spurt of COVID in January, and the whole town pretty much shut down. So ah, that that's quiet. Australia. <laughs> Everyone had one of those. Yeah. But, like, it's been a tough couple of years, really. You push size, then that. Like, it's just, when's it all going to end? But yeah. you're up and running. Everyone's ready to come back now. So yep. what do you got for them when they get here? What sort of things have you got accommodation-wise? Yeah, here? so we've got plenty of accommodation. I think we run um, about 115 beds. Um, so we've got the cab log cabins, we've got the motel, got grandma's old house which is my grandma's house across the road that sleeps like 19 people um, yeah so we got plenty of accommodation for people to come along and and stay and got excellent chefs and food well I've never had a bad feed here I can tell you that <laughs> you've had a few too oh, I have had a few feeds here <laughs> and a few beers and they're always cold and flavoursome as well yep. she does a very good job Ellen does thank you <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing I love about the here is you can get some local knowledge we're talking about you come into the high country, there are literally hundreds of tracks that you can take. Nearly every weekend, I think we've had two tow trucks in here this morning. Somebody's always having a bit of a mishap, so and, but locals are always willing to help out. Take advantage of that because, as Helen said, they've had two trucks, two tow trucks in here this morning. People do get into trouble on these tracks. Some of them are pretty steep and pretty extreme. Come and ask the questions and be honest with how much of experience you've got and they'll steer you in the right direction. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of local knowledge, we've got a couple of caravans in tow, Tanya and I, and we want to get across to Omeo and I want to find out a track that's suitable for caravans. Of course, they aren't all. Mm -hmm. um, is Hawley around? Um, I haven't seen him this morning or this afternoon. Uh, well, you um, are only his wife, so you right. probably won't always, see him. Always the last to know where he is, <laughs> what he's doing. I'll go and have a dig around. I'll let you go because you're yep, flat out. No and um, I'll go and find him and catch up with him and get a bit of that local knowledge. Absolutely. Thanks, Maka. Good on you, Helen.